so on my way to my next meeting it won't be a very long one then after that i'm heading home to start packing for the weekend for our 4x4 camping trip to be doing this weekend it's going to be at klein tafelberg so small table mountain in english so guys stick around the weekend is starting very very soon hey everyone so we are on our way it's time to break away and just relax for a bit Luckily where we're going this weekend, there's no cell phone reception, so that's going to be a massive relief. Have a look at this beautiful drive we're having. We got away a little bit late today, so we're going to arrive, I think, at sunset or maybe just after sunset. So we're going to put up camp in a bit of darkness, but we do have enough camping lights, so I think we should be good. The next day. Ik voel me dijk in die bamper. Ik laat voel me dijk al. Oh, ze het wel gebring. Nee, ik het voel me. Maar is op de camera. Ja, die is ook op is. Ja. Die ding is, die stof is hier altijd aan het brik uit. Maar je kan niet zien in die stof. Hij doet ook brik, toen klim je uit. Hoor je, dit is ook om jou met. Dit is ook om mijn huis.
we are busy with the 4x4 route on Klein Tafelberg and it is a lot of fun. We are enjoying the Prados. We first tried without deflating the tires. No center lockers, nothing, just low range. It's actually a few obstacles that we did manage to, uh, to, to get out. It's extremely hot. The sand is super loose and there's quite a few cross axle holes everywhere on the sand. Quite a difficult day to be here and that is perfect because then it's a very good test for the two Prados. So, who needs a handbrake? <laughs> Parking brake, handbrake, e-brake. I don't know what everyone calls it. There's too many names for one thing. All right guys, so a little bit of background on this farm that we're at, close to our west coast of South Africa. There's quite a few caves, but this is the one that's the easiest reachable. Some sketches against the wall from people that was here way, way before us. There's not a lot left. The other ones, they actually closed off because people obviously vandalize these kind of things. There you can see, there's a person standing on the left hand side, the body and then the legs and something happening there. Obviously very old and with people touching it, um, yeah, it obviously doesn't preserve as well as it should. And then over here, you have more markings as you can see. But then over here, look at this. Guys, this is the most interesting part for me. That is a hand, a print of someone's hand from back then. So if you compare the size, just look at that. It's quite a small but thin hand. And then somewhere over here is also, uh, you know, where they were hunting. I can't seem to find it now. Just look at the formation of the rocks here. It's honestly incredible. This is very cool. And then from here, you have an insane view. Hello!
Alright, so we are still on the 4x4 route and we are coming down this one hill now and now you can see actually over there the camping area um, they, that bush over there just on the left hand side
Hij zit kamerbank. Hij zit kamerbank.